All right, guys, Kazoo71 here on Ark Survival Evolved on my Aberration playthrough for beginners. You can see I'm using the clap emoji to turn the light pet on and off. This is going to be very important when we tame this Reaper Queen. So just jumping forward here, we're ready to go down. So I'm leaving from my base area, and we're going to go down to the Rad Zone. I'm just going to shoot through the Blue Zone real quick and get to the Rad Zone. That's where the Reaper Queens are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of jump forward and we're going to find Mr. Reaper Queen. Now two episodes ago I showed you guys that I totally failed. Or one episode, last episode, that I failed at doing this. Um, not two episodes, last episode. And then this time we're going to go try it again. So what I was told uh, is that you need to actually aggro it. So I was not aggroing it to me. It was aggro to the Rock Drake. So you need to have something in your hands that you can whack it with. So anything will do, really, a club, a pick, an axe, a sword, just make sure you don't kill it. So once it gets down a certain point, you're going to whack it, and then that's when you know you're gonna, it's going to aggro you instead of it, and then it'll grab you. So two things you need to do when you're doing a, the Reaper Queen with this method is, number one, your light pet needs to be off. It will not impregnate you if your light pet's on. And number two, it needs to be aggroed on you and not your rock drake at the end. Now, I'm using the awesome spyglass, so keep in mind, you're going to have a highlight here. I'm going to be able to see the health of this Reaper Queen as I do it. And then, if you're not doing that, you just need to wait until that thing turns pink. It's going to have a pink glow. And then, you know, you got its health down low enough. You can watch its bloodiness as it gets bloody and stuff. But there's one right here. It's a level 15. So, we're going to we're gonna start with this one as a test. Low level here, guys. We're going to start with a 15, and we'll work our way up and get some higher ones. Eventually, I'll get like a over 100 when we'll do that so all i'm gonna do is, is whack it with my not whack it i'm gonna bite it with my rock drake over and over and get this health down now i do have my light pet on as you guys can see in the bottom right corner um there's a goggles there so there's a high level dino around here somewhere and then to the right of that's a little light symbol that means i have the light pet on so as long as that light pit's on, we're good to go. The other symbols down there, of course, is the radiation one. And then the next one is the hazmat suit. And then that other one, I'm not sure what that is. I think that might be the wheel from Superstructure Suit. Anywho, we're just going to bite this guy down, or her down, her, bite her, until she gets down to below 1,000. Um, I was told it could be below 2,000. I'm not sure. I just try to get it below 1,000 to make sure. But as you can see... Now what the, the pink glow I'm referring to, right now above her is a yellow glow. A yellow like mist coming off of her. When that turns pink, that means she's ready to impregnate you. It's just like the void worms. They have that little blue glow. When they hit the, um, when you take them down far enough, then they're ready to be ridden. This one's going to have a pink one. Now you can't tell what colors this thing is. I have no idea what color this is. really hard to tell. So... The other thing I was told is that the, the colors that you get from these guys are totally random when the, the baby comes out. So it don't really matter what the mother looks like. It could be anything coming out. I don't know. So we just, we're almost there, guys. And then so once I get it down to below 1,000, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the light pet off by clapping. And then I'm going to grab my sword and I'm going to hit it. And once I get it aggroed on me, then it should impregnate me and we should be good and probably be attacked by nameless at that point because the light will be off but that's part of the thing now people make these uh elaborate traps i've heard of where on official they'll trap a level 151 and they can't bur burrow underground so what they do is they lead it into a thing and it's got the the uh, stone foundations under it so it can't go underground because it's stuck on the and then everybody can come get impregnated it'll impregnate everybody who comes by as long as it's helpful down um, but we're gonna get this thing down. We're almost there. All right, so that's good. Now I'm gonna clap my hand. We're turning the light off. As you can see, the bottom right, the light is gone. I'll grab the sword. I'm gonna try to hit it. Now, as you can see, its health is regaining as it's doing this. And with the light off, you can see it is pink. I just need to make sure it's aggroed on me. So you see the little pink glow? But it needs to be on me. It's still on my rock drake. So I need to hit it somehow. Let's try this angle here. If this works. There we go. I hit it. Should be good now. Hit it again. Make sure. Let me get off so we can watch. Bam! It's got me right off the rock drake. And my rock drake is getting hit by the nameless. We're good to go. I'm going to get back on my rock drake. 
I'm gonna kill these mammoths. There goes the Reaper Queen underground. I clap my hands and I clap my hands twice. So I turn my light on and then back off. But you can see right here where the arrow's at. I am now impregnated. And then I have a certain amount of time before the baby comes out. The Xenomorph will pop out of your belly. You will show pregnancy. I'll show you guys that in a bit. Um, but I'm just gonna kill these nameless and then I'm gonna heal myself because I'm pretty beat up. Um, as you see, my armor is still pretty good, but I'm going to use these uh, medical brews. I recommend you take these down here so you can guzzle them down when you're good. Turn your light pit back on, by the way. Mine's still not on. Bottom right, if you don't see the light, the light pit's not on. <laughs> now it's on. See? Now we're good. So let me kill these nameless and then I'll be good to go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what happens here. At the bottom right, you see where that thing is where I'm impregnated. There's a little number in parentheses. And right now it should be zero. I think that's what it's showing. You need to get that number up to 75. I'm just going to tell you that. That's the max you can do is you can level it up 75. So instead of it being a 15 level Reaper, it's going to be a level 90 Reaper. So as long as I get that to level 75, I mean 75 levels. So whatever level you tame, you can get a max of 75 more on it. So you just need to max that thing out. You do that by killing stuff while you're impregnated. So we're just going to kind of hang out here for just a second. And I'm going to jump forward here and I'm going to show you guys. Um, I went on my way out. I killed some stuff. I got out of here. You can see the number down there at the bottom. Uh, I don't know if it'll go up to one here because they got to kill a couple. Yeah, I went up to three there. But uh, as you kill stuff, it goes up. And it's not too hard to do. Just kill a couple bigger things. But I need to heal my rock drake. It's pretty beat up. So I was just healing by a plant up here in the green zone again. And I'm going to show you guys how we're going to level up. And like I said, right there in parentheses, you can see the level. And you need to get it to 75. Once again, 75 is the max. Get it up there, and then your baby will gain 75 levels when it comes out. See? Boom. Every time you kill something, it jumps up. So we're just going to whack. Um, I keep saying whack it stuff. I'm going to whack it with the sword. I'm going to kill some stuff over here with the rock drake. You don't have to kill them personally. Your mount can kill them. It doesn't matter. You can kill them personally if you want. Same thing. You're still going to get the levels. We just need to kill enough stuff to get it up where it needs to be. And then we need to make a little trap to build it. Now, let's talk about the, the little pin here you need to do for this. Because when that baby comes out, that baby is going to try to kill you and anything else around it that is not um, covered in the pheromones, the Reaper Queen pheromones. So I've killed some Reaper Queens in the past. I have some pheromones in my in base. So what you do is you put that in your hot bar. Or you could do it in your inventory, it don't matter. And you need to eat it. And it's going to have a timer. And I'll show you guys where that's at on the screen too. It's going to be in that bottom right corner as well. And as long as you have that pheromone going, the baby won't try to kill you. So what you need to do is you need to build like a little pen or a fenced in area. That way that baby will be in that area. And it can't get out and get your other dinos and stuff like that if you have other dinos out. So, um... Here we we're pretty close to 75. Let's just get a couple more things here and we'll be good to go. So, and I'll show you guys the, the other recommendation, and I'm going to do it just to show you guys, is to build like a ceiling, a little high, like one wall high or something like that. And then uh, I'm going to do it two walls high, just play it safe. And then you face your pen, and then when that baby pops out, the baby will shoot out of your belly into that pen, and then it can't get you because you're up on that ceiling tile. Then you heal yourself, you go in there with your pheromones on claim it and then you can feed it so because you need to put meat in its inventory but there you go we're pretty close another earthquake coming on yeah uh, that's what pretty close to 75 a couple more it don't matter what you kill i mean bigger things will give you more levels quicker but uh, let's see once i get to 75 we're just going to stop i don't need to get any higher than that Is that 62, 72, 62, I think? We're close. We'll go this way and we'll kill some stuff. I'll try not to eat everything. I don't want to fill up my inventory and clean it out again, but a few more things and we're good to go. Come on. Let's see. Only, I only got two levels from that? Come on. Come on. That's ridiculous. All right, we get a couple more. Not that bad. The first one I tamed was a little bit 25. I did it. It was an R Reaper. It was on Genesis 2. And I didn't know you had to get that level up to 75, so I had a level 25 or 35 Reaper. It was pathetic. 
Now all your babies are gonna come out as a male. That's just what happens. I was told you could get a female. I don't think that's true. I think they're all males. So if I'm wrong, somebody can correct me. I'm not gonna go research it. I just I've done a lot of reading and stuff before. So here's where my partner and I first had that little base when we were searching for this place. You see that little light over there. But here we go. Let's kill the stego and see if that gets me to 75. I'm at 73 now. Come on. Ooh, ooh, it did that little spiky thing on me. Got me off my mouth. Forgot those stegos do that. But since they did that TLC update on the stegos. There we go. 35, guys. We're good to go. Don't need to kill anything else. Just jumping forward to my base. Let's look at this little pin thing I'm going to do. So I'm on the second floor of my base. What I'm going to do is just, I'm going to just wall this area in uh, and make it pretty simple. It's not going to be complicated. You can, you can do any size. This only is big enough to hold that thing. And then, uh, but I have a pretty good area, so we're going to go ahead and build it up a little. So I'm going to put a doorway in here and I'm going to put some ceiling tiles. And I'm using superstructure so these doors are automatic. You can turn them off automatic if you want. And we're just going to build this up too high, like I said. And I jumped forward there. I had to go build a couple more pieces. So there we go. Now we got an enclosure. I'm going to slap this little triangle ceiling here. And I'm going to throw this ladder on here. <laughs> By the way, on the Ark Survival Ascended, if you guys haven't seen my ladder glitch, man, they got some serious issues with the ladders on the new one. You can't just walk off of them. You got to jump off of them. And if you put a hatch frame up, good luck opening the hatch frame or getting off the ladder. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Hopefully they'll fix that. All right, here we go, up the ladder. Now I'm just gonna slap a couple more ceilings out here, triangle and a square, and we'll be good to go. And then I got a spot up here where I can uh, stand and let the baby come out. So I'm gonna just let it jump out in there. So here we go, and going forward here a little bit till the timer's almost up. As you see the bottom right, I got 20 seconds left. Show you guys, see if I get a good shot of my belly. I'm just making sure I'm at the angle right. So I wanna make sure I'm facing the inside. I keep switching between, sorry about the dizziness. <laughs> I switch them between the first person, third person, and the orbital camera mode. But you see the belly sticking out. I didn't really show it that well, but here we go. Yay, we have a baby, and our health's down to like nothing. So we're going to drink some health, health brews, medical brews here, get the health back up. And I'm just wait a minute. As you can see on my bottom right, I hardly have any health left. So we're going to let that jump back up. And then I'm going to take that, as you can see on my um, hot, hot keys, on the, the zero key, I have those pheromones. So we're going to drink one of those pheromones. And now i got a timer of the pheromones at the bottom. You see the green thing, 290 something. So as long as that's on, it won't try to attack you. So we're going to get in here and claim this thing. That's super fast. Usually hard to get. Oh, I got it. That was lucky. And there we go. We got ourselves a baby reaper. Now, they will not eat out of the trough. And they will not obey any whistle commands until they are a juvenile. So, above 10%, guys, is where you got to get before they'll start obeying you. So, I forgot the meat. So, I had to come back down and get meat. So, we're going to throw some meat in this inventory. Um, that's what you need, not berries. It's got to be meat. And then, once we get that in there, then I'm going to jump forward here to when it turns into... Uh, actually, I'm going I'm to jump forward a little bit and show you guys what happens when the pheromone runs off. And then we'll jump forward to when it turns into a juvenile. But here's the little Reaper. Reaper baby. Baby. And let's take a look at it and see what color it is. I'm going to turn the awesome spyglass off. And we're going to turn my light on. Ooh, it's purple and cyan. It's my colors. Look at that. What's the, what's the luck of that happening, man? That's like very, very slim chance of me getting that. So here we go, pheromones, bottom bottom right. See, it's almost about to run out. Bam, as soon as it runs out, she or, or he takes off running. He's going psycho again. So I don't know. I don't think they normally stand still. They kind of just stand around and move a little bit. But man, this thing went crazy as soon as those pheromones wore off. So I'm going to try to throw a light down, see if I can get it. Maybe it was stuck on the light. Try to get a good image and picture of it for my video, but it ain't stopping at all. It's trying to get me, is what it's trying to do, but it's running in circles. So let me try to get in its way and we'll see what happens here. Let's see what happens now. Come on. Oh, it bit me. See? Okay, so let's put those pheromones back on and instantly or almost instantly he calms down. So going forward a little bit guys you can see it's a little bit bigger it's almost at 10 percent so that's all we need to wait for is that 10 percent mark when it turns into a juvenile then it'll eat it out of a trough and there it goes 
it just appeared and popped into a juvenile reaper all of a sudden so look at the colors on that thing that thing is cool too bad it's only a 90. that's okay may i breed it up or something you can breed them on superstructures by the way you just need to use the mutator come here you but that's not a normal playthrough so i probably won't do that I might have to transfer this thing to my single player or something like that and mess with it but there you go guys we got ourselves a reaper queen to impregnate us and got a baby reaper king and so that's all you need to do it works really good on the rock drakes um you need to have a good health if you're going to fight one of them bigger ones though like a 100 or something but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe comments are always appreciated guys thanks for watching once again and i will see you next time